Assalamu alaikum my dear brothers and sisters in this video we will discuss about two marks important questions with answers in pathophysiology of your second semester okay and these questions are very important for your second semester yes let's start that first one list the factors affecting wound healing you have to list the factors like oxygenation infection age stretch diabetes stress diabetes obesity alcoholism these all are the factors which affects the wound healing process the second question complications of diabetes mellitus means complications is nothing but some of the right, the complication the next to this complication is death only okay complication these all are the difficult stages of this diabetes mellitus like blindness visual disability kidney failure heart disease diabetic neuropathy foot disease skin problems means from these the diabetes mellitus can be arises okay these are the basic cause cause third one name the causative organism for meningitis and typhoid very easy example answer meningitis is a neisseria menin meningitis then streptococcus pneumonia okay then for the type for typhoid you can give example salmonella typhi these are the causative organism Okay, the fourth one is define a sickle cell anemia, sickle cell anemia and thalassemia. See sickle cell anemia, the disorder of a red blood cell in which irregular RBC shape and break down. There will be no proper shape of the red blood cell. Thalassemia, the blood disorder in which less oxygen carrying protein and very few RBC in the body means the body which doesn't contain the adequate amount of the RBC or adequate amount of the hemoglobin carrying oxygen protein means though the oxygen the hemoglobin which cannot carry the proper oxygen means the hemoglobin which cannot carry the proper oxygen no uh, they are having very less in number rbc so that's reason that disease is known as a thalassemia and these are the genetic disorders fifth one define a stroke and its etiology etiology see stroke it is a brain attack it occurs when the blood flow to an area of a brain is cut off is it basically it is a blood blood flow disease means if the blood flow stops touching to the brain uh, neurons nerves then it leads to the stroke the cell damage and the brain cell death what then etiology causes ischemic stroke transient uh, transient tra transient ischemic stroke attack hemorrhage strokes six one different stages of alcoholic liver disease fatty liver inflammation alcoholism hepatitis fibrosis or cirrhosis liver failure these are the different stages of alcoholic liver disease okay then the seventh one acidosis when the body fluids contain too much acid okay this is known as acidosis when when it occurs it occurs when kidney and lungs can't keep the body's ph in balance okay and the next one is alkalosis when the body fluids contain excess alkali alkaline means basic excess basic in nature excess alkaline condition it occurs when the blood ph are imbalanced imbalanced then list any two sexual transmitted diseases and it's a causative organism see aids hiv virus yes then gonorrhea it is the causative organism Nigeria gonorrhea syphilis the causative organism for the syphilis is a treponema pallidum ninth one is a, what is ischemia see insufficient blood flow okay to provide adequate oxygenation there is a, no proper flow of a blood to provide the accurate or adequate amount of oxygen the hypoxia less or reduced oxygen in the blood there is a reduced amount of oxygen in the blood it's known as hypoxia these conditions are mainly acquired in the cell injury cell damage tenth one is write the causative agent mode of transmission signs and symptoms of a urinary tract infection causative agent equally mode of transmission bacteria that live in the vagina uh, genital anal areas may enter the urethra travel to the bladder and cause an infection this is a mode of transmission in sign and symptoms painful urination incomplete micturition burning sensation cloudy cloud cloudy urine yellowish urine smelly urine then a note on a biologic carcinogenesis see carcinogenesis carcinogen is a substance that promotes the cancer okay, that promotes the cancer that leads to cancer carcinogenesis means formation of the cancer whereby normal cells are transported into cancer cell 
okay normally behaving cells are transported into the cancer cells carcinogens may cause cancer by altering cellular metabolism or damaging dna directly in cells which interferes with uh, normal biological process here what happens to the normal cell cells dna get damaged to the damage of the dna uh, there will be improper synthesis of the protein which leads to the biological defects biological defects okay that leads to cancer cell then uh, uh, 12th one what are the pathological changes in the asthma pathologic changes include uh, hyperplasia of uh, mucus glands then hyperemia and edema of mucosa then eosinophilic infiltration of the muc mucosa hypertrophy of a bronchus then formation of mucus or plugs 13th one give example for radiation induced malignant induced malignancies uh, see radiotherapy for for diseases like breast 46 esophageal cancer lung cancer then a second breast cancer these all are the radiation induced cancer diseases or malignancies diseases due to example each for direct and indirect acting carcinogens see direct carcinogens uv rays uh, then infrared rays alkylating uh, al alkylating agents indirect carcinogens means aromatic hydrocarbons heterocyclic aromatic amines uh, mycotoxins or nitrosomines these all are indirectly direct carcinogens and indirect cancer carcinogens okay and uh, from uh, the 2021 basically uh, from 2020 the questions mainly are asking from this cancer only okay two questions are fixed one in five marks and one in two mark seven marks is in your hand fixed questions okay just go through that then the 15th one differences between metaplasia and dysplasia it is also a rising question metaplasia conversion of the mature differential cell into another form of the mature type cell then dysplasia development of abnormal type of cell within a tissue or organ in metaplasia a reversible process it is irreversible doesn't lead to the formation of cancer but in dysplasia it leads to the cancer cretinism it is a severe hypothyroidism in an in fact hypo okay less secretion of the thyroid hormone it is due to the iodine deficiency okay iodine deficiency then myo myoxedema it is the severe hypothyroidism in which dermatologic changes form in which the derma means the skin changes form okay skin changes form then define a carcinogenicity with its etiology or with its causes see tending to produce cancer a carcinogenic substances which shows the carcinogenic effects those will show the cancer effect cancer canceric effects or carcinogenic effect these are known as carcinogenicity uh, if we discuss about the causes or etiology means smoking is one radiation carcinogens obesity lack of exercise these all are the basic causes for the cancer then role of folic acid and vitamin b12 in anemia it is also very important see vitamin b12 it helps to produce a red blood cell and helps to carry oxygen through body folic acid helps to produce a new rbc cells and uh, expels the destroyed rbc folic acid the main function is it will give birth or produce a new red blood cell and the destroyed cells it will dump the destroyed cells define jaundice mention the mechanism that leads to jaundice jaundice is a liver disease characterized by yellowing of the skin eyes and nails urine mechanism the most common mechanism causing jaundice are over production of a bile by the liver bile produced production of the bile is more here then the 12th the 20th question list out the complications of the wound healing say edema peri wound edema peri wound dermatitis tissue necrosis bone infection that is osteomyelitis and gangrene apoptosis it is a predefined cell suicide where the cell activity destroys itself okay it is a predefined cell suicide cell suicide where the cell itself get destroyed necrosis it is accidental cell death accidental occurring due to the due to the uncontrolled external factor in the external environment of the cell it is uncontrolled death means sudden death necrosis then 22 what is a hypogonadism a failure of the gonads testes in men and ovaries in women to function the to function properly it is the hyper hypogonadism 
production of man's testosterone and women's estrogen are inhibited this is one then gyno then the next one is a gyna ecomastia see male breast tissue swells due to reduced male hormones like testosterone or increased female hormones like estrogen okay male breast tissue it get a swell due to the reduced in hormone and or increase the female hormone like estrogen it's known as a gyno ecomastia then define hemophilia a disorder in which blood doesn't clot normally when blood can't clot properly excessive bleeding occurs after any small injury it is caused due to the lack of a coagulation factor 8 that is anti hemophilic factor then next 24th one is a chronic bronchitis it is a long term inflammation of the bronchi it is common among smokers emphysema it is a long term disease lung diseases see long term it is it is not long chronic bronchitis it is the lung term inflammation of the bronchi sorry sorry right right it is long only then emphysema it is a lung disease which further damages the lung tissues especially the destruction of the alveoli smoking is the major cause 25th iron deficiency anemia a condition of too little iron in the body iron deficiency is a common cause for the reduction of rbc in the body then megaloblastic anemia a condition in which the bone marrow produces unusually large structure of abnormal immature rbc known as megaloblastic anemia 26 signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism see hyperthyroidism is a production of too much of thyroxine hormone signs and symptoms excess sweating excess hunger fatigue irritability restless uh, then abnormal heart rhythm fast heart rate nervousness irregular menstru menstruation insomnia weight loss then 27th the last question of your pathophysiology two marks write four contrasting features of the benign and malignant tumor see four contrasting features or four differences means benign tumor alternate altered in nuclei there is no alternation means abnormal nuclei where they are in malignant uh, in benign altered in the less mitotic division abnormal mitotic metastasis is absent here their frequent metastasis stay meta status yes my dear brothers and my dear sisters these are the 27 very important questions with answers in two marks just you can take a screenshot of these important question with answers and you just go through this definitely from this you will get eight questions approximately you will get seven to eight questions from this you just read this to get good marks in the two mark of pathophysiology uh, i have uploaded important questions in five marks and also in 10 marks okay if inshallah time remains i will update those important questions i will update the important questions for 5 marks and 10 marks i will make a separate video for that very very important questions in pathophysiology which the repeaters can pass easily okay so if you are new to this channel subscribe my channel legion pharmacy and be notified by turning on the bell icon thank you assalam alaikum